A Penn State seemingly familiar dilemma here, Jerry. It seems like we were here last year deciding between Matt McGloin and Rob Bolden. So are we basically back to square one? Absolutely not. According to the Penn State coaches, they're going to say this is an entirely different situation. Last year, they didn't have a quarterback who had played a lot. Now this year, they still don't know who they're going to start, although I think they're going to start – both of them are going to play – but at least they have guys with game experience. So their contention, Howard, as you know, as they explained to us when we were on campus, is this is nothing like last year's situation. But the one overriding thing, Howard, I think what's going to make them play two guys is neither one of these quarterbacks are a game changer, and they can't ride either one of these quarterbacks to victory. So that tells me they've got to be able to run the football. And I think that's one of the issues last year. When you're trying to bring along young quarterbacks, whether it's one, two, or three, they have to be able to rely upon an offensive line that can run and control the game. And they, the running game was really bad last year as far as Penn State is concerned. So they need to get some consistency there. If they can do that with some experienced quarterbacks now, this is an offense. It's not back to HD offense yet, but it has, the, it has the capabilities of getting there. Absolutely agree. O-line, tailback, more important than who starts a quarterback. Failed to score 15 points four times last year. That equaled the total from the previous three years combined. So it tells you how stagnant that offense was at times last year.